you're <laughs> early. You know it's not Christmas today, right? Yeah, I know. I couldn't wait to read you my gift list. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't it a bit long? Wait, there's more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you'll have to read it as we walk to school. Otherwise, we'll never get there before Christmas. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. Dear Santa Claus, this year I would like the new adventures of Johnny Crossbook, seeing Gale cards to complete my collection, a super intelligent robot to help me do my homework. Seriously, Nate, Santa Claus will never be able to bring you all this. But I've been super nice this year. <gasps> Look, Nate, it looks like... Brian, Santa's reindeer. <gasps> ah! Hey, Brian, why aren't you at the North Pole with Santa Claus? <laughs> I've got my Christmas gift list if you're going that way. Looks like something's wrong. <laughs> Santa Claus is in trouble? Is that it? <laughs> we have to see what's going on. I'm sure it won't take long, and Brian can drop us off at school on the way. <laughs> Please? <laughs> oh, all right. Let's go, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> heard something. <gasps> it's the gang of old cuddly toys from our neighborhood. What are they doing here? I don't know, but they look just as angry as the last time we saw them. No, remember, Nate. It's true that at the beginning they were a bit stubborn, but then we saw that they were actually quite nice. We even left us good friends. I don't know about that. It looks like they're hiding something. Let's try to get inside the workshop and look for clues. Brian, can you create a diversion? <laughs> An intruder! <laughs> Santa Claus? At least explain to me what I've done to you. Come on, don't play innocent. <laughs> you know very well what you've done. It's Jumbo, the leader of the Cuddly Toys. In spite of all the letters I wrote to you to plead the cause of the Cuddly Toys, you ignored us. Because of you, we are relegated to the closet while you distribute brand new toys to the children. I'm sorry. I get too many letters every year. And some of them are so long, I can't read them all. What? Ah, that sure was a waste of my time. Anyway, there's no time for excuses. If we cuddly toys go too long without an owner's affection, we risk losing our memory and becoming inanimate objects again. I myself have more and more memory losses. I barely remember my first owner, a little girl with curly hair. She was always on time for our playdates. I understand. But if you don't release me, I cannot help you. We don't need your help anymore. We have found a real ally now. <laughs> Psst! Santa Claus! Nate! Monika! <laughs> I knew Brian would find you. We heard everything! And we're gonna get you out of here! Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> No more cuddly toys, no more sleigh, and no more Brian. Uh, here, look, sleigh tracks. They're all fresh. Where do they go? We need to analyze them to determine where they lead. They lead to my warehouse. Hmm. Wait, don't you think that's a little easy? Maybe it's a trap. If Santa doesn't find Brian any sleigh, there'll be no more Christmases. Cuddly toys might outnumber us, but the three of us together can handle them. Oh, thank you. Hmm. We can do it! So, we couldn't do it. Well, well, here are some very unexpected guests. Release us, Jumbo! We promise we'll help you find new owners. 
Don't bother. We will soon be given to children, and it's Santa Claus who will stay in the closet. All thanks to our friend, uh, uh, Chan? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, Tran. Uh, uh, Cran? Uh, 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 it's uh, Stan, you dummy! <laughs> Stan! <laughs> yes, it's me! <laughs> Who's that? He's my brother. He's always been jealous of me, but I didn't think he was capable of this. Typical. You always underestimated me, but that's about to change, because I'm about to ruin your stupid holiday. <laughs> this year, it's going to be filthy coal boxes for everyone. <laughs> you, you said that... that, that I, I... <laughs> Did you really think I was going to hand out a bunch of old soft toys? I just used you to get my hands on my brother. Traitor! Wait, who are you again? No! Stop whining, elephant! Anyway, soon you won't even remember how you got fooled. <laughs> Lousy Christmas, everyone! Let's go! <laughs> I should never have trusted Stan. You know, there's still time to fix your mistake by untying us. Together, we'll have a better chance of getting out of here. We have to hurry before you and the cuddly toys lose your memory. Huh? Why would I lose my memory? Mm. <laughs> it's useless. Stan has taken the sleigh and Brian. Ah. <sighs> Santa Claus, do you still have your magic powder that allows Brian to fly? Of course, and it's not only the reindeers. <laughs> <laughs> this way, come on! Ah, uh, no, ah, uh, how could they free themselves? They'll regret chasing after me. <laughs> You little pests! You'll never stop me! You hear me? Get it up, reindeer! Get it up! <laughs> it's over, Stan! Forget about it, Jumbo! Your time is over! You don't mess around with the cuddly toys, and especially a. Jumbo lost his memory! No! <laughs> Go rescue him, children. I'll take care of my brother. Game's over, Stan. Return the sleigh. You always come to ruin my plans. Yes, I do. <laughs> no! My coal! Oh, there he goes. Change of course, Brian. Let's go catch him. <clears throat> He's still my brother. Thank you, Nate and Malika. I know lots of children who'll give these old cuddly toys all the love and affection they need. Poor Jumbo. It's too late for him. He forgot his owner. She must be an adult now. I'm sure everything is going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Saving Christmas, no less. That's right, Principal. But. We couldn't save everyone. Kids, you look sad. What happened? Oh! Jumbo! My childhood toy! Huh? But I lost him huh? years ago! Where did you find him? 
I guess it's the magic of Christmas. Jumbo, I missed you so much. Kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. I was surrounded by a hundred, no, a thousand. And that's when I woke up. Mm. Can you believe it? Wow, a thousand monsters. That's amazing, Nate. Malika, you're not listening at all. What's going on? Oh, sorry, Nate. Last night, my mothers told me I was going to have a little brother. It's all I can think about. Well, that's good news, isn't it? Not really. I'm going to have to share everything. My bedroom, my stuff. <gasps> Even your toys? Mm-hmm. Gingerbread man, where did they come from? That's funny. They look like Ivan, Joseph's son, remember? Hmm. Yes, but they seem more unruly. Thank oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. I found the last one. Josette, did you pick these gingerbread men? <laughs> well, of course not. Mine would behave better than that. It's Ivan who made them. He disappeared with my magical cookbook. Magical cooking can be dangerous. Can you help me find him and stop him? Well, we gotta go to school. But imagine if more gingerbread men invade the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll help you. So where could Ivan be? If he managed to bake all these gingerbread men, he must have found a big oven. I know. Mm -hmm. The only other place he could have found a big oven and all the ingredients is... The candy factory, of course. <laughs> the pastries are alive! Hmm. Ivan is definitely in here. Hmm? <laughs> Let's go check the basement. Ivan, stop messing around and go home right now. She's right, you know. Your gingerbread men are out of control. <laughs> Mom, I just need a little practice. And soon I'll have a little brother. A little brother? Aren't you worried he's going to steal all your toys? I don't care. I get bored by myself. Please, Ivan, magical cooking is dangerous. Dangerous? <laughs> Doesn't he look a bit shifty? He's perfect. I'm gonna call you Francis. Hey, big brother. Can I borrow your cookbook? Huh? Now I can use this to cook up my own personal pastries that I can rule over. Thanks, bro. <laughs> I have a feeling your new little brother might be one crooked cookie. I don't understand. I followed the recipe exactly. Maybe you forgot an ingredient? Uh, the flour? The eggs? Love! That's why I didn't want to bake you a little brother. I was afraid I wouldn't have enough for him. But I've got loads of love for my little brother. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> since you messed up the recipe a bunch of times... You must have passed on your frustration and your impatience to Francis. <laughs> you were right, Mum. I should never have tried baking by myself. What are we going to do? We're going to finish off what you started, sweetie. What do you say we had some icing filled with love to your little brother? Hmm? Yeah, that should get rid of his evil ambition. Hmm? Uh-oh! Looks like he's already started baking! <laughs> run, 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 as fast as you can. You won't escape my very special plan. 
The magical icing recipe is inside my book. But if Francis sees us coming, he'll run off with it. We need to distract him. <laughs> I've got an idea. <laughs> my recipe is perfect. I'm gonna make the most bitter, most sour, and meanest chocolate cake of all time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't touch that. <laughs> you again. Ugh, give me that. I'm sorry. We need it. <laughs> Ew, it's all slimy and too sticky for you to escape from. <laughs> We'll see about that. Why are you doing this, little brother? I just wanted us to play together. Play together? Ha! I've got much more important plans. Speaking of which. You shouldn't have stood against me like that, big brother. Breakfast is served. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> That'll teach him to play Master Chef's apprentice. Right, Ivan? No. Francis is in danger. We have to help him. He's still my little brother. Hmm. Hmm. Let go of us, you big bad blob of jelly! Wait, jelly is a dessert. And we know what to do with dessert. Whoa. I could go for a little afternoon nap right now. There's no time. We have to save my boy. <laughs> <laughs> we need a plan. What makes baked goods go all soggy? Milk! You pour the milk, and I'll take care of my brother. Ivan! Hold on, Francis! We're coming for you! The milk pouring sequence has been activated. All personnel must evacuate immediately. Francis! Over here! The milk pouring sequence has been activated. All Hurry up! Oh. <laughs> Francis is gonna get French toasted! The milk pouring sequence has been activated. Just feeling a bit limp. Ivan, my baby! Josette, you can fix this, right? Unfortunately, no, I can't. I don't have the ingredients with me. Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me on the ginger. <sighs> I'm afraid it won't be enough to heal him. I'm sorry. I was done for, yet here I am. Look who's back. It's me, Ivan. Yay! I knew my recipe was a success. You're just like me. Tough on the outside, but soft on the inside. No. And I'm glad to have you all as my brothers. Every 
everyone is happy. happy. You can call us the Gingerbread Family. Looks like you won't need any icing after all. Maybe having a little brother isn't so bad after all. Maybe one day the three of us will go to school together. Hmm? School? We're super late! Nate and Malika late again. It's not our fault, miss. We had to save the town from an evil pastry invasion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm gonna have a little baby brother. I just got the news. Oh, that's good news, Malika. I hope he will be on time at school. Oh, yeah. What will I ask Santa for this Christmas? Mm -hmm. I know, I know. What about a jetpack? You know, fly through the air. <laughs> what fun would that be? Oh, please, Nate, can you finish your list later? If we're late for school again, mm -hmm. Principal Prudence is going to make us clean up the whole schoolyard. All right, mm -hmm. but Christmas is only a few weeks away. Have you started your list for Santa yet? I'm not going to bother. What? But why? I didn't get one thing on my list last year. You got that cool concert ticket. True, but it wasn't on my list. But isn't that the fun? Dreaming of all the things you think you might like and getting a surprise? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of surprises. Ryan! Where are you? Ryan! Ah! <laughs> Santa? It's hmm? just some guy in a red suit. Neat! Huh? Manika, you must help me. See? Mm -hmm. He knows our names. It is Santa. Lots of people know our names, Nate. Doesn't make them Santa Claus. See, that's a big beard mm -hmm. for a start. Wait! <laughs> oh, sorry. But if you're Santa, what are you doing here? It's not Christmas yet. I'm teaching a new reindeer to guide my sleigh. I'm showing him the route so everything goes smoothly at Christmas, but jumping jingle huh? bells, he's gone missing, and, and I need your help. Come on. Oh hmm. my gosh, huh? Santa's actual sleigh. I left him hidden here so I could have a bathroom break. Hmm? Well, you know, it's a long way from the North Pole. I was only gone a few minutes, but when I came back, he was gone! Mm, looks like he chewed through his harness. Poor thing was probably worried. So he came looking for me. If something happens to him, I'll never ho, ho, ho again! Here, this is what he looks like. I raised Brian from a fawn, you know. He's so sweet and sensitive, great with the elves, and a really good flyer. Oh, he's becoming one of my greatest reindeers. Where is he? Huh? Hoof prints! Uh, over here! Hmm? Looks like Brian came through here. Yes, and he wasn't alone. Hmm? Uh. Well? The prints go off together, across the road, into... <gasps> Maxim's Animal Tenderness! But it's an animal shelter. It's a cover. Maxim steals rare and precious animals to sell them at a high price. Crumbling Christmas cake! <laughs> Brian could be sold off at any minute. We've got to get him out. What are we waiting for? There's one tiny problem. I can't be seen before Christmas. Well, I mean, except for you two, but I desperately needed help. Okay, I've got a great plan. Malika, you distract Maxim with a Christmas carol. While I slip inside and find somebody to prize open the door to get into the back room, then I... Or you could sing the Christmas carol. Okay. What is it, huh? What do you want? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, oh what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! <laughs> Hi there. You must be Brian. <laughs> Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. I can't remember the rest. Oh, how long?
long is this gonna take? I have things to do. Go away now! <laughs> Quick, Brian! Now's your chance to escape! <gasps> Maxim! You really thought you could fool me with such a ridiculous plan? Told you you should have sung the Christmas carol. Here, that'll teach you. And if you try to escape or call someone, there's a little surprise waiting behind you. <laughs> <laughs> See why I don't like surprises? Careful now. Any vibration might wake her. You've gone to a lot of trouble to find one little reindeer. Tell me. What's so special about him and I'll let you go? So you can sell him to the highest bidder? Never! So there is something special. Hmm. Can he play video games? Uh, read minds? No, no, no. Oh, I don't know. Can he fly? That's it! A flying reindeer! You mean like Santa Claus? Yes! Let's see. <laughs> Now you're gonna come with me! Don't! You're frightening him! Ah! A genuine Santa Claus reindeer! I'll make millions! <laughs> Better yet, I can use him to fly over the zoo and pluck out whatever rare animals I want! Ha! Perfect! I'll make squillions! Stop! Get us out of here! <laughs> Ryan! Oh, Christmas crackers! <laughs> Silent night! Bigfoot! Santa! Easy now. No sudden moves. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Thanks, Santa. Where was Maxim taking Brian? To the zoo. It's just outside town. But if he leaves there before we catch up, we may never find where he's gone. Ah, if only we could fly like Brian. Great North Pole. Why didn't I think of that? Brian uses magic dust to fly. I keep some spare in my sleigh. Come on. <laughs> oh. Northern hairy nosed wombats. <laughs> so rare. <laughs> I can carry two of those. Oh, oh a Kaiser spotted mute. <laughs> Maxim, stop! Huh? Let the reindeer go! <laughs> this is way better than a jetpack. <laughs> you again? Uh, Santa? <laughs> <laughs> Brian! <laughs> no! You're too slow! <laughs> Brian is too fast! <laughs> we'll never catch them! <laughs> if only we could throw him off Brian from here! Hmm? I know! We're gonna crash the sleigh! A what? A fake crash, of course! Mm -hmm. Huh? Make this look good! <coughs> you clumsy oafs! Crashing the sleigh! You'll never catch me huh? now! <laughs> okay, Maxim! But please, don't steal a rare and highly valuable pygmy three-toed sloth from its cage on the other side of the monkey's enclosure! <gasps> Don't tell him that, Nate! <laughs> Thank you! That's exactly what I'm gonna do! <laughs> no! Oh, no! 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 Hey, stop! Stop! No! Stop it! Oh! <laughs> 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 Oh, Brian.
man. I thought I'd lost you forever. Uh, nice plan, Nate. Sometimes you surprise me. See? Surprises can be a good thing. Besides, how boring would life be without surprises? <laughs> Thank you both so much for saving Brian. Our pleasure, Santa. Such a big thrill to actually meet you. Pity I don't have my Christmas list ready. I could give it to you in person. Well, you know where I live, uh, Malika. I'll send something through too, but feel free to surprise me. That's the whole fun of getting Christmas presents, isn't it? <gasps> Come on, we're late for school. Hmm? Principal Prudence will be waiting with our punishment. Uh, wait. Maybe I can help you with that. <laughs> Sorry we're late, Principal Prudence. We brought you an early Christmas present. <sighs> Trying to buy your way out of trouble won't... A Christmas carol? I got this book for Christmas when I was a little girl. A big surprise. It was my most favorite present ever. How did you know? Santa Claus told us. <laughs> Of course he did. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, ho, ho. thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, boy. I have to find a present for my mom. I thought you made her a heart-shaped sculpture out of dough. Uh, yeah, but that didn't turn out so well. Hmm. I see. When's her birthday? Today! I absolutely have to find her something by tonight! Hmm. I know who might help. Cosmo? Um... Why, hello, Nugent and Marilyn. What honor do I owe this early visit? It's Nate and Malika, Cosmo. I'm looking for a present for my mom. It's her birthday today. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, very well. I'm sure I have what you need. This three-handled teacup. Very practical for several people to take tea together. Or even better, this battery-powered mm -hmm. hairdryer. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Mm -hmm. And what's that? Mm -hmm. A magnificent snow globe with a tiny figurine inside. I brought it back from a trek in Alaska. Cool! My mom loves this kind of thing! <laughs> How much you want to bet you break it before we get to school? Do you think I'm a total klutz or something? Oh. Here we go. <gasps> oh no! Hmm? Ah. What am I gonna do now? Who are you? Duh, I'm a snow fairy. Isn't it obvious? Uh, and what were you doing inside the snow globe? Some nasty humans trapped me in there. I've been a prisoner for years. But now I'm free. And I'm gonna have fun! Okay, do you wanna play with us? Now's not the time, Nate. We're gonna be late for school. Tag, huh? you're it! <laughs> Fine. Hmm. Tag, you're it! Tub, this game is lame. I wanna play with my powers. Huh? What powers? <laughs> <laughs> These powers. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face! Uh -huh. Why did you do that? <laughs> I told you, because it's funny. Oh boy, you two are real party poopers, aren't you? <laughs> okay, I'll let you go because you freed me, but don't stand in my way. <laughs> what should we do? I don't feel like being turned into an ice cube. Me neither, but we have to stop her before she freezes the whole town. <laughs> Let's go talk to her, but no harsh words or she's gonna freeze us too. Got it! <laughs> hey! If it isn't our good old friend the fairy! How have you been since, uh, two minutes ago? We wanted to tell you, your powers are awesome! We're big fans! Right, Malika? Um, yeah, totally. Maybe you could show them to us in the park, over there! <laughs> What's up, slugs? Huh? Mm. Who's that? <laughs> 
Who's that? You're making fun of me! I'll show you who! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. We have to put her back into the snow globe before she freezes everyone. The fairy gets her power from the cold, so that means we need to find a source of heat to defeat her. I know! There's our source of heat! Looks like the fairy was here.
give her a hug? I have a better idea. <laughs> Malika, what's the matter with you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> to give you a present to apologize. It's your mother's huh? birthday, right? Oh, thank you. She'll mm. love it. It's beautiful. But mm. what are you going to do now? I'll go home to Alaska. I owe an apology to the humans I annoyed there. And then maybe I can use my powers in a constructive way. Ah, oh, school! Mm. We really have to go. Mm. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs> There you are. You're both late again. It's because we freed a snow fairy. Yeah, she was freezing everything she saw. But we talked to her, and now everything's back to normal. Yeah, right. And now you think you can control the weather. Sorry, but this time I'm gonna have to... Uh, 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 chew! Uh, chew! I, I, I'm gonna have to... Chew! To punish... Oh, never mind. Come inside. Choo! Oh, yeah! Choo! Hey, Malika! Guess what vegetable I chose for today's cooking class? Uh, I don't know. A zucchini? Uh-uh. An eggplant? A leek? An avocado? Nah, I give up. Ta-da! A chili pepper? But it'll burn your throat. Nah, I love spicy food. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, is that gingerbread man alive? It is, but we'd better help him, otherwise there'll only be crumbs left. Are you all right? Of course I'm all right. The situation was perfectly under control. Mm. Yeah, under the cat's control. Not at all. I could have got away whenever I wanted to. Hey! Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Hmm? My chili! I need that! Where did he go? Over there! <laughs> Morning, madam. <laughs> What's that? Mm. Run, run, run. As fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> Whoa, he wasn't kidding. He's super fast. And super irritating, but we're super clever. Keep chasing him. I'll cut him off from behind. Run, run, run! It's possible! So, who's the smart one now, huh? Now give us back the chili! Uh, you can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man! <laughs> ah, he's so annoying! Oh, I'm done! <laughs> oh, I'm done. <gasps> Excuse me, you haven't seen Ivan, my son? He has big lips, he's very tiny with blue hair, and oh, yes, he's made the gingerbread. Mm. Gingerbread man? Oh, that's him! He's your son? <gasps> I lived alone for a long time and I was feeling very lonely. One day I found a strange cookbook full of magic recipes and I created Ivan to keep me company. We were getting along so well, but recently he's become more and more rebellious. In this morning he ran away from home. Was he here? He sure was. He stole my hot pepper. He went inside that house. Looks like I'll have to go inside too. Should we help her catch him? I don't know. 
We would be trespassing. Come on, I bet nobody lives here. Wow, the steps are so huge. <clears throat> And who loves he really hates anything. Ivan! Ivan! <gasps> hey, did you find my chili? <gasps> oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> you should see your faces. <laughs> Ivan, I've looked for you everywhere. You have to come home now. It's not safe here. <laughs> you always say that. I'm not a small, fragile thing, you know. I don't need you to protect me. Mm -hmm. Why are you guys so scared? Ivan, get down! Hide if you want, but I'm not afraid of... <gasps> Come here, breakfast! <laughs> a biscuit on legs. Doesn't it look appetizing? since there's been any humans on the menu. No one ever comes here. You'll do nicely. Oh, oh let me go, you horrible ogre. We gotta save her. And you better help us because this is all your fault. But how can we hope to beat such a monster? Hmm. We add a little spice. <laughs> as soon as the water's boiling, I'll plunge you into it and then <laughs> dinner time. <laughs> what? Just like that? But I will have no taste. You could at least prepare a broth. A broth? But I don't know how to make that. Surely you have some ingredients here. Hmm? Then let's get cooking. Start by cutting up some vegetables. <clears throat> mm, that's good. Salt and pepper. Uh, uh, where's the pepper? Huh? Right here! Uh, 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 jump! Oh, I've got... Come back here so I can. <laughs> <laughs> Back off! <laughs> Hurry! Yum! You'll be perfect for dessert. Come on, let's go into the pantry. <laughs> Time we're cooked, literally. Hmm. You also have to add aromatic herbs. Oh no, that's enough. I'm starving. Josette's gonna be meat stew any second now. It's all my fault. I wanted to show Josette that I could manage on my own, but now I've put you all in danger. <laughs> run, run, run as fast as you can. You got caught, silly gingerbread man. This is no time for feeling sorry for yourself. There has to be a way out of here. Maybe not for us. For someone as thin as Ivan, it might work. Look. <laughs> yeah, I can go through and open the door from the other side. Even if we do get out, we still have to defeat the ogre, save Josette, and escape. And we don't have any weapons. Wrong. We've got one. My red hot chili pepper. <laughs> Help! Stop! Stop! I'm on... Since you don't have the politeness to wait until dessert, 
I will eat you as an entree. <laughs> no! Ivan, are you okay? Oh, thank you, children. You um. will pay for this. No, don't touch my mother. I should have eaten you a long time ago. Hold on. If you want to soothe your throat, it's not Josette you should eat, but her broth. Why should I trust you? You humans set my throat on fire in the first place. Suit yourself. Enjoy your burning throat. Me? I'm going to sample this soup. No, you're not. I've never eaten anything so delicious in my life! If you like, Josette could teach you other recipes, right? Yes, mm. but only if you promise not to try and eat people. That'll be easy, if your other recipes are as tasty as this dish. <laughs> Can we start? Well, I'm sorry I caused so many problems, Mum. I won't run away again, I promise. I've learned my lesson. Lesson? Huh? Oh no! We're gonna be late for school! Goodbye, everyone! Wait! Huh? Take some broth for the road. Nate and Malika, late as usual. I hope you remember to bring a vegetable for the cooking class at least. Well, actually, I had a hot pepper, but an ogre ate it. He wanted to eat a gingerbread man and, huh? Mm -hmm. But we have something better than raw vegetables. A bowl of the best broth in town. But, oh, how did you have time to cook this morning? I hope you'll let me taste it later. It's okay this time, come in. Oh, yeah! Slept. But I really need something to eat. I'm starving. Mm -hmm. We can stop at Cosmos later. Or we could stop here. Now. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen this place before. When did it open? No, Nate, we don't have. <sighs> Time. <Huh? laughs> Hello there, my young friends. I'm Mr. Sweet Love, and welcome to my brand spanking new Sugar Emporium. Fancy a free sample? <laughs> I want you so much, you in my dreams, I know. Nate! Nate! Can you say something and stop slobbering, please? Magician never reveals his tricks, but have some more and try to figure it out. Well, yeah. thanks a lot, but we really should be getting to school now. <laughs> come on, Nate. <laughs> Do come again. I need more candies. What are you doing? Let's go. I have to know what his secret ingredient is. <laughs> The smell is coming from here. Mm. Mm. The candies are really that good? They were magical. Mm. Did you hear that? Voices coming from down there. Ah. You're leaning in too far. You're going to fall. Suppose you're stuck now, eh? You're hilarious, you know that? What? I didn't say anything. No, I did. What are you doing here? 
I think I hit my head, cause I could swear there's a... a gnome right in front of us? Bob's the name. I'm the foreman around here. Uh, I'm Nate. This is Malika. The foreman of what? Come, I'll show you. <clears throat> what is this place? This, this is our prison. Mr. Sweet Love kidnapped us and made us work here when he discovered our special gifts. What do you mean, special gifts? Watch. <laughs> After the candies are made, we huh? use our magic touch to make them fruitalicious. Oh, gross! Now try. I don't really like it. I want you so much. You're right. They're awesome. <laughs> we can also make candies bigger. Wow, cool power. They're also the reason why we're stuck here. But there are way more of you than him. Why don't you just escape? We can't. He took our hats, and if you take a gnome's pointy hat, he has to work for you until he gets it back. Uh, right. Where are they, the hats? Well, they're in the office over there, but... Uh, okay, wait, let's go! Don't do that! <laughs> what in the name of all that is sweet and tangy are you doing? Quick, you two, hide! Right then. Glad to see you're also gainfully employed. Oh, dear. It seems someone might have ideas above their station. Would these be what you're trying to get your grubby little mitts on? Take a good look, Bob. This is as close as you'll ever get to your hats again. So you better keep our sweets coming, or someone will have to take a ride in the Big Dipper. No, 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 not the Big Dipper. <laughs> oh, saved by the bell. This time, you won't be so lucky if you disappoint me again. That was too close. What was that Big Dipper he was talking about? Ah! Here it is, the Big Dipper. That chocolate sits harder than concrete. Oh, what are we going to do? We're going to do what we always do, which is be smart. Be inspired, be brave, and come up with a plan to end all plans! I've got it! Got what? Everything we need to get the gnome's hats back and free them. And it's all right here. Come on! Team two? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yes, we haven't been open long at all. Would you like to try a free sample of one of my delicious... What's that? Um, nothing for you to worry about. Here, take some samples with you. Goodbye. <laughs> Mr. Sweetlove must have heard. We've got our plan. We just have to stop him so Bob and his friends can get their hats back. He's coming! You guys really need to get that door open! You! So you came back. Well, now you're going to have to stay forever. <laughs> Gnome hats! That's right! They're taking them back! <laughs> I got this! Time for the big finale, Nate! <laughs> um, maybe too much caramel. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Marshmallow time! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
You've ruined everything! No! You did that! I'll get you for this! <laughs> You're going to stay in this factory forever! <laughs> I don't think so! Hey! You took your time! You're welcome. do you have for me this time? Well, it's not God's wallop. There was this candy shop and... And you think you can bribe me? Well, I never. No sweet treat is going to make me forget my job. You see, I'm not... I want you so much. You in my dream. Oh, my. They are so very good. Well, I do have more. Oh, off you go. Just please do try harder to get to school on time. Oh. Oh. 